As your trainers, we're gonna run you through some form fundamentals so that we make sure that all of your exercises are 100% safe. Make sure you also definitely check with your doctor before beginning this challenge. We wanna make sure that we keep you injury free for 2015. Oh yeah, baby, let's do this. Okay, ladies, first exercise is the squat. This is a very fundamental move. We do this in our day-to-day -day lives every single day. I'm gonna go over some form cues from the ground up here. So starting with the heels. She's planting the heels up. A very common mistake is to lift your heels and let the knees drive forward. No, don't ever do that. We wanna root your heels into the ground and really press through the legs, strong legs, knees going outward so that we create a little bit of a torque in the bottom of our feet. So you want maximum torque towards the outside of your foot. Beautiful. Next cue, check out her knees. If I were to take a, a, a line here, a plumb line, straight from her toe, right here. She's not gonna pass that with her knees, all right? You never want to let your knees pass this line here, okay? So that would be a terrible example. <laughs> Instead, you wanna push your hips back towards the back wall behind you and really squeeze your butt. The glutes take a long time to develop and actually feel what it feels like to flex them, but I promise you, if you use these cues, knees out and hips back, abs in, you will get it eventually over time. The last thing we wanna look at is her belly button sucking in, but she's rolling her shoulder blades back and down. Her chest stays high to the sky. Okay, so the chest is always pointing towards me throughout the whole movement. If she were to do too much hip flexion, her chest is not gonna point towards the floor, that is wrong. We wanna keep it nice and upright, again, driving through the heels to come up. All right, up next is the plank. Liz is gonna drop down, show us a beautiful plank. Let's start here with the shoulders, directly over the wrists. She's not straining her neck up or down. It's in line with her spine and she's pushing the floor away from her. So right here, she's rounded through her shoulder blades. Let's show them sunken in. That's a sinking. You don't wanna do that. We see that a lot. So push the floor away from you. Really straight arms. Your shoulders, again, are stacked right over your wrists. Her back is nice and straight. Her lower back is not arched. It's also not way up in the sky. From there, her tailbone is tucked in pelvis rotating forward so you're shortening the distance between your lower ribs and your hip bones. Think about a crunch. She's not arching her back, she's crunching it in. From there, really strong straight legs. She's flexing those quads, toes are right underneath her heels. And look at that beautiful straight line of energy. So the two most common mistakes we see are dropping the hips. Liz is going to show here that little hip dip. Again, if you're arching your back, that's all dumping in your lower back. You might be pinching there. So that's when you push the floor away from you. Again, tucking your abs in, shortening that distance here to keep your lower back safe. And the second biggest mistake we see, as I said before, is sinking here into your shoulders. Yeah, yikes, don't do that. Push the floor away, round between your shoulder blades. Think about straightening your arms and really pushing as much as you can away from the floor. Last but not least, we're gonna go over some quick form cues for anything tricep variation, okay? This includes your dips or if you're doing tricep push-ups at home, these are important things to, to know. So Sarah, go ahead and start. She's starting with the beginner version here. Her knees are bent and her elbows are parallel with one another. So she's not gonna flare them out to the sides. Round your elbows in towards your body and keep them there. Almost like you're brushing them against your rib cage. Again, here, if she wants to take this up a notch, she's just gonna extend her lever, lengthen the lever by extending the legs. And a common mistake we see here is the hips are too far away from the bench. So anytime you're doing your dips, you wanna make sure, show them what it looks like if it's wrong. Way out here puts a lot of strain on your shoulders. So instead, we wanna keep you nice and close to the bench so that you're going up and down and not so much forward and back. These are three foreign keys we want you to master in these next 30 days in every exercise that you see him throughout this challenge. Keep it safe, keep it strong, and let's do this.